Are you terribly saddened that uh, Breath of the Wild 2 got pushed back? No, I think it's good for everyone because Breath of the Wild was a terrible game. So it's good <laughs> oh, to I'm inclined to agree yeah. with you, but but go ahead. This, this hot take central. I just I just hate the weapon durability and a lot of the there's a lot of areas in the open world that are just empty. I don't just, know, man. Just... I, like I I think Elden Ring is a really cool and interesting game, but I, I I just can't get invested into it because my shit isn't breaking every five seconds. Like I I, I can't play a game on my shit just doesn't work after five seconds man no I, I it's also it's also just a giant world where a lot of the openness is is bland and empty and i don't like that i think i think mechanically it's a really fun game i, I think obviously it's a really important game i understand why people like it i just personally can't stand it it, so. it took it took me a good it sound like i i am so stubborn when it comes to not like if, there, if there's something that people love and i'm just not meshing with it i i'm so stubborn i'll spend like tens of hours uh playing it just like why don't i fucking like why don't i fucking like it and then sometimes it clicks uh breath of the wild eventually clicked for me but i should probably get rid of that persistence it's be pretty fucking annoying but you yeah, know delays are good we already had enough fucking open worlds it's been a very short fucking uh span of time there was dying light it's fucking huge it's like 500 hours um you and me both played horizon even though you mainlined it a bit that's a huge ass open world there's elden ring i, I don't need another one this year i i'm open worlded out I, I i'm done i'm good that's that's all i need you feel any kind of open world fatigue as well or, or you're you're itching I'll, you're I'll, i've been i've i've been open world fatigued for seven eight years now like in order for me to in order for me to enjoy an open world game the world has to actually have something of note part of why i've really enjoyed elden ring's open world because everywhere you go there is always something new whether it's mm -hmm. just different enemies different locations different environmental things there's just always something different so for that i've been like totally on board totally enjoying the open world uh in general i'm just I'm just burnt it's why i mainlined horizon because i really enjoyed the game but i didn't want to get caught up in the open world aspects of it you had the better experience with horizon for sure but i i love it how in elden ring you can just like open the map and you'd be like i don't know there's a road that leads to nothing right here there's just like this weird little mark on the map I'm pretty fucking sure there's something there, and then like nine times out of ten, like yeah, absolutely, there's something there. Yeah, there's it, there's literally nothing in Elden Ring that you're gonna experience that is like, you, hey, if I go this way, there's gonna be nothing there. Like there is always whatever corner you go around, there is always going to be something. Now, whether that something is is big or not is gonna depend. Kyle forgot the thing he said because he turned into a robot, and robots don't have memories. Um, they only have RAM, and it only lasts for so long. You, you, this is not SSD, Kyle. This is uh, uh, 5200 uh, RPM, Kyle. Uh, any heartfelt reaction to E3? not being a thing this year or you just kind of like whatever there's already enough fucking uh announcements and places to get gaming news it's kind of like it's just, it's just I, I i at least feel like e3 is, is a relic of its time where there's so many conventions nowadays there there's just youtube like if a company wants to put out like a five minute demo uh presentation whatever their game their e3, e3 has no reason to exist aside from like industry people like physically meeting up doing deals and whatnot yeah it's definitely lost its um it's it's, it's appeal and its importance to the game industry i think uh fuck what was what was the event that just happened was it was it gdc that happened like yeah, like what, yeah. a week ago yeah so th there's still plenty of shit i know uh jeff keely's kind of teasing at his um at his summer games fest so that's gonna just basically take e 3 spot anyway a anything to please the dorito pope dorito pope gives us uh cool trailers in a nice little condensed form um maybe less musical performances get, get mgk doing his aerials uh cover on there that that'd be worth at least a little bit of cringe factor D did you ever play the witcher 3 i did it's one of my favorite games you want, it's also an open world game or did, were you ups was there weapon durability in 3 i think there was right uh, a little bit it, it was it took like a really long time but it was it was there right yeah yeah, but it, not enough to be an issue. It wasn't like, hey, swing your sword six times and it gets deleted. Besides, if you're not just spamming fire, you're not even playing the fucking game right, right? Exactly. It's shield and fire, shield and fire. It's all you need. Fuck it. Yeah, it's, really, that's also how, it's also how I've been playing Elden Ring. Oh, you're, put, you're playing a pyromancer? Just shield and fire, shield and fire. I'm just, I'm just a little basic bitch. I'm a, I'm a shield and stab. I'm a little shield and stabby boy. That's all I know. I'm a little simpleton, but simpleton gets shit done, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's do be true. <laughs> it do be true. Um, yeah, there, there's a new Witcher game got announced. I wouldn't expect anything actually concrete for this. For I want to take a wild guess and say we won't see tangible gameplay until maybe what four or five years from now. It's like 2027. 20, I, I, I maybe expect it. 
Yeah, I don't know if it'll take that long, but it'll definitely be a couple years. Because they're at least because like one of the big announcements is this is that they're not using their own. Um, they're not using their own engine for this, the engine that they previously used on Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk. They're using Unreal 5. So that might well, expedite we, the... Okay. I was going to say, I think that's going to cut years off the development process. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to expedite it for sure. But um, they're also still working on um, on a whole bunch of DLC for Cyberpunk. We'll see how long that actually takes. But, man, even, even to see the game release, I, I still want to say it's probably going to be like a good 4 or five years and honestly yeah. they really should take the fucking time uh this time around to make sure everything's actually ironed out like like not just content lock but like fuck i i don't think they can handle another fucking bug disaster another glitch disaster like they, they were held up they were held so up high for being like oh look we're we're a company that cares about the people here's drm free stuff uh here's uh free content and they just fucking spat in people's faces and I, and I guess you could attribute, I don't want to say the majority, but a, a decent amount of that just being that they forced the, the game onto previous gen consoles, which they announced the game for previous gen consoles that the next gen consoles weren't even supposed to be out by the time uh, Cyberpunk was initially slated to release. So it, it, it's all kinds of fuck because e even at release, I played it on PC and I had a relatively smooth time. There's some bugs, some annoyances, but it was nowhere as bad as, as, as what people were reporting uh, for the base consoles and, e and even the PS5 and Xbox um, running it on the PS5 or Series X slash S. Those seemed like relatively smooth. So so hopefully not juggling too many systems at once is also going to uh is also going to help that a bit yeah it should but, be good but fuck we might have the ps6 you know you know what maybe by 2027 ps5s will finally be in stock you can hope i mean i already got one fuck everyone else i guess i don't give a fuck about anyone else it's all about me that's not true maybe it's a little bit true i, I care about you kyle I, do, do you have a ps5 right i do okay then yeah fuck it i don't give a fuck about anyone else it's just you and me baby that's <laughs> all that matters. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and dive a little bit into uh, what have we been playing. Uh, you dragged me into one of my favorite games of all time that I've kind of like neglected um, for, for a decent portion of the last couple of years. Uh, you and me played played a little bit of Mario Kart. We played the uh, the new... Uh, fuck, how many uh, how many cups was it? Was it two cups that they added? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, it was two. Yeah, so Mario Kart 8... What, what's it called on Switch? Mario Kart? 8 Deluxe. Yeah, Mario Kart 69 Ultimate Deluxe Coconut Mall Edition. Double du double double penetration, right? That, that's what it's called when you have two of them on the same cart. Yeah. Yeah. Dope. But um they're, they're basically doing this uh season pass for Mario Kart now, uh, which you you and me both got it through the expansion pass on um for Nintendo Switch Online. I think it was like 45 bucks a year versus the uh, 20 bucks a year for regular Nintendo Switch Online. But I believe it's supposed to add, how many cups is it? They're, they're adding like eight more cups of, of DLC. Um, So what, eight times four, that's 30, 32 maps we're getting? It's Somewhere a, it's a pretty good amount. Yeah, it's so they're, they're, yeah. A, a lot of them are old maps, Uh, so one map from my childhood I can instantly remember is that freaking Chocolate Mountain. It, it, it's not like the the uh, crappy old um, Nintendo 64 graphics, and I'm using air quotations for audio listeners. Um, it, they're not just taking those maps and slapping them in there, so you have like HD dudes running around in freaking uh, 4x3 fucking beautiful 10, uh, 240p. It's, uh, no, they, they completely remaster it, make it look modern, add modern features to it, and it, it looks fucking beautiful. It actually makes the maps uh, kind of look the way that I would have imagined they did back when I was a kid, so it's, uh, it's a hell of a nostalgia trip, and it's a shit ton of content for the uh for the price you're paying so I, i'm i'm stupid happy with it yeah it was it was, it was nice i i will I say enjoyed it. when when you would hit me up to play i'm just like whatever like everyone i put all my friends i play mario kart with they're kind of like okay at it don't really get a run for my money you fucking gave me a run for my money you were we were pretty neck and neck basically the entire time right you're, you're kicking my ass a little bit at the beginning yeah i'm like one of us won you know more matches though or more races i can't remember who it was can you remind me oh it's totally me i don't remember but i'm just gonna say it's totally me sounds like sounds like some fake news i uh, don't know that it's legit dude i got these supplements that said it'd make my pp like real hard and real long at the same time yeah it sounds like some fake news uh yeah, i won. They haven't really worked it's still my because i am i am very good at mario kart you are very good at mario kart what about are you any good at smash though no god no <laughs> just, just well, that, kirby down b spam that's all i do 
You're not hustling me, are you? Like, like I'll hit you up to play Smash, and you're gonna fucking no. Like I, I probably, I, I probably won't even play Smash. Like I, I am that bad at Smash. Oh, I only yeah. play if I only play if I'm like in like a large group of people. You have to be inside a large group of people. No, that's not. You're, no. you're like, like there's just a gathering of people, and you're gonna be inside them. No, no. Is this like a Smash joke? Are you like literally smashing them by being inside a large no. group of people? Yeah, I, I don't know if you can feel the eye roll, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an eye roll of love but it's there an eye roll of love wow that's what my ex-wife taught me